that was first you talk about the Redskins game, 16 nil down. What they show to get back? Yeah, it was a, it was a great performance from the boys. It's something we've probably we just lacked self belief at different times in the year. I think we've had four games that we may have lost by um, six points or less. And the effort is always there. It's just knowing that you can pull those games out. To be 16 nil down in particular, though, you know, that, that's quite threatening where you feel like the game's about to get away. Um, but the beauty, I guess, was that for the 10 going into half time, we, we were able to swing momentum. And we just said at half time, let's be the first to score as we come out of the break. And then you, know, you basically undo all their good work. They feel like they've been the dominant side, and you're back even with them. And then it's a, an all new ball game for me. You look at the months since it picked out Neil Rod in the sunny case, and must be really pleased with the character they've shown. Yeah, there's been a lot of things go into it. Um, you know, away from the, the paddock itself, we, we've taken up some wrestling training. Um, we do that with James and Sweeney, and I think um, it's a real a physical test as well as an intellectual test. They've worked hard on technique so that they can individually be better in the tackle, but then they, they work hard as a group now for each other. Every team takes pride in their defence, and I think once we start to restore that, and that was even in our 6-4 our loss to the pride, we, we lost, but we felt like we'd sort of taken control again defensively, uh, and then have been able to build, build off that in the weeks that followed. You look at the side, you know, you've had the experience of, of tight disposal, you know, John Olive and Eddie Petty Ball and then Ben Matthew had been there for a while, but also at the bottom man, uh, Peter Lee and, and Dane Clark have come for the last few weeks and, and really made an impression. Yeah, oh, mate, I'm really proud of both of the guys you just mentioned. Um, Pete was someone that, you know, we always knew great things would happen. He's played sevens for Australian Rugby Union. His pre-season was excellent, but he, he's relatively new to the game of Rugby League, so he just had to find his feet. Um, he did his time in A grade, he was good there, when he stepped up for us, started well, but you know, ha had ultimately a few errors in him. I think back a couple of weeks ago, he, he may have had a, a couple drops even, but the beauty with Pete is that his attitude is he just wants to continue to improve. Down the last week, he spent every session doing extras under the high ball, and then as you saw on the weekend, he put all the ones he should, and then he caught a couple that you, you would forgive him to drop in because they were just ridiculous. Uh, I think that's what, what Pete gives our group. He just brings enthusiasm to everything he does, and I know that rubs off on the players around him. Clarky on the other side, Clarky is a bloke then. He's just now starting to utilise all his tools. Um, he, he's a smaller middle forward for us, um, very tough, so he can match it with the big guys where needed. But as you saw on the weekend, you know, he, he was hitting and spinning, he was finding people to tip onto, he was one hand flick passing off loads. He was just really creative for us, and that's good when you can see someone express himself with their footy. You've now shown you, have, you can compete with the top half of the competition. Win them at home, always tough. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for from the side on Saturday evening? I guess uh, we want to start like we did against Redcliffe. Um, that game, we were pretty much perfect for the first 20 minutes, which allowed us to dictate terms and put a lot of miles into the opposition. They were gassed at different stages. Um, when I'm uh, you know, known to be a power side, they, they tend to try and come up with in the middle. So we want to possess as much as we can and make them do all the tackling. But then, should for any reason we, we be threatened or we fall behind, we just want to build off the belief from last week that says, well, we'll turn a game, we'll just wait for the moment, swing momentum, and we'll get our turn. Good luck, mate. Turn around. Lovely. Yeah, thank you.